Last week, President Trump reportedly said some not so nice things about Haiti, referring to it as one of those s-hole countries and questioning why Haitians were even allowed into the U.S. So wouldn't he be interested to know that in the shadow of his Chicago Trump Tower sits the bust of Chicago's founder, none other than a Haitian. Since you point out, yeah, now it is very ironic. I think that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. In 1790, John Baptiste de Sable became Chicago's very first resident when he settled on the banks of the Chicago River, right back there. It's right on the spot where a gleaming Apple store stands today. Dusable became wealthy, wheeling and dealing with local Native Americans. He was regarded as a well-educated, cultured owner of multiple properties, and today he's got his name in big letters on a bridge, a lakefront harbor, a museum. Wait a minute, does all that make him almost Trumpian? In terms of the character and quality of the two men, I think there's no comparison. Dusable doesn't get nearly as much interest as other Chicago luminaries, but those who know their history are proud. I think he's a great Haitian and a great man, and uh, Chicago was founded by a Haitian. That's great. Still, most Chicagoans are as unaware as Trump may be. Do you think he'll be surprised to learn that the founder of Chicago is a black Haitian? Probably. <laughs> But Chicago's mayor, Rahm Emanuel, for one, isn't laughing off Trump's comments. This city, founded by an immigrant from Haiti. President Trump is, well, not so popular in Chicago. He's referred to the city as worse than Afghanistan, out of control, and a disaster. was chased away from his only campaign appearance here in 2016 before it even started. The barricades that went up outside Trump Tower that night have been in place ever since. And all his Trump Tower retail storefronts have remained vacant since the tower opened nine years ago, even though they share the same prime riverfront view that Dusable himself had from his property in 1790. And I wish Jean-Baptiste were here to speak for himself. And what would President Trump say if he found out about Dusable's descendancy? Um, I don't know if he ever will. I should hope that he would be happy. Uh, he will probably say that's a fake news. <laughs> Andy Rosgen, I-24 News, Chicago.